Coach Ferdinand, thank you very much for your time. Congratulations, 2-1 win. What were your thoughts on the game? Uh, the game was, I can say, difficult. Uh, we made the game difficult by ourselves because our boys didn't play uh, our game, you know. We wanted to play the one football, which is not what we, we know. We are a football academy and we always ask them, even under pressure, to play. So they succumbed to the pressure because the opponent were playing long balls, so they decided also to start playing long balls. But all the time that we kept the ball down, we put the opponent under difficulties. That was my take on the game. Uh, Coach, what was your plan for this game in terms of the tactical approach and the system that you deployed? Yeah, talking about the system, uh, as usual, we, uh, we play 4-3-3 four, three, four, three, three, with two offensive uh, midfielders that uh, add numbers forward so that we attack with five. But today, um, the second midfielder, we had to take him out in the second half, which is like our number 10 was not in the game. So now we have to derive another plan to come up with a different strategy where we have to push our wingers to come in so that we pack the midfield and we play with only a lone striker forward. But uh, I, do, I believe that uh, the boys are not used to the formation because <coughs> we, we, dip, we are playing most of the time the 4-3-3. So we change our formation now to play 4 4-5-1, which make the game very difficult for us. We didn't have many scoring opportunities. Uh, coach, they, they played many long balls, even long throw-ins, trying to find the tall guys, of which you dealt with uh, okay until you considered that goal. Uh, why do you think they were able to impose their game on you, especially in the second half, uh, not allowing you to do what you normally do, which is to build from the back, progress the pull forward, combine and, and, and try to create chances. Yeah, they came, they came with a strategy. They know that our boys are not first of all tall. We have only two, two top players. Them, you know, the majority of the team, they are tall. So they, they played according to their strength. When there is a throw, they have, they have a guy that is very good in the long throws. He look for the top players, which put us in a lot of difficulties. Because height-wise, you know, our boys are very short. Uh, then we tried to derive a plan to stop that, but unfortunately we considered a goal on, 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 on that long throw that they, 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 they were using. That was a strategy that they came with. But I believe that we've learned our lesson. Well, the game of tomorrow we are going to, though we don't have enough time to, to plan, we don't have any other session. Tomorrow we're just coming to play, but I believe that uh, tomorrow we'll, we'll derive a strategy to deal with that. Uh, Coach, and, and from, this is from both sides. They, they seem, the, the game, obviously, it's a, it's, a, it's a decider. It's a very important game. But it seemed as if the nerves got to the players. Everything seemed to be rushed. There was no composure on the ball. There was no, no trying to combine with each other, trying to bring down the tempo and restart it again. There's no team that I can say took control of the game in terms of playing. Why do you think that happened and what do you need to do tomorrow to correct that? Yeah, you are very right. Our, we didn't we didn't play our game according to our plan. Mm, too much rush. Even the free kicks were rushed. The throwings were rushed. The boy didn't come down to play, and I believe that is the occasion. And also, I, I cannot blame the surface, but remember the field was a bit heavy for them, so it makes it very difficult for us to put the ball down and play. And the boys, I truly speaking uh, we, we work on them like psychologically preparing them for the game telling them that this game is like other normal games that you've played in the league and even in the second half we try to motivate them to say hey, boys this is uh, this team you can see we've played better team than these teams in our stream so if you guys just compose yourself put the ball down I think we can get a better a better result and a better approach to the game but believe me, uh, we've observed the game as technicians. I think it's our duty to go home, do our homework, and come tomorrow with a better formation and a better approach to the game. Uh, coach, throughout the game, both sides seemed not happy with the performance of the officials. And at times, things almost got out of hand, but uh, they seem to be controlled. Tomorrow is the final game, second leg. There must be a winner and the emotions might be higher than today. Uh, what do you think, first of all, the performance of the officials and how are you going to ensure that does not affect your boys, that what the officials do does not maybe discourage them or raise emotions to a point where they lose focus? 
Uh, I believe uh, you watch the game like me, and I don't always like to talk about the, the referee because even when we are educating our boys, we always tell them to avoid the referee, you know. So we on the bench will do the, the, the job of calling the referee attention. How? Uh, about the refereeing, I think I will not comment on that. You saw what happened. The officiating was very poor from both sides. We just want a fair game. We don't want favors. If there's a foul, it's a foul. If there's a free kick, it's a free kick. But you you saw that even the opponent were not happy with the referee. Even myself, I was not happy. So tomorrow, I think Safa, they need to nominate, give us a referee that will will make the boys play. We are here to enjoy football. Though we want to qualify, but we are also here to enjoy. You know, football is about joy. So if we come somewhere where there is no joy, where people are being taken advantage of, I, I will not comment much on the referee. I will not comment much. Thank you. Coach, thank you very much and all the best tomorrow. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you.